This in this panel can kill you. Do not open up your electrical panel. If you are not an electrician, stay away from it, okay? So if you come in here and you have a breaker that is loose, you can come in and you can put your hand on this breaker safely. This is not gonna hurt you, you can do this. You can put your hand on every breaker in here, in this house, and as you put your hands, I just one, I'll turn it back on. As you put your hands on it, if you got a breaker that's starting to go bad, if you got a breaker that's overloaded, if you got a breaker that the wiring on it is loose, typically that breaker will be hot. Oh, it'll be warmer than the rest of the breakers. If you got one breaker in your panel that's warmer than the other breakers, there is a potential problem. I'm not telling you there is a problem. I'm saying there's a potential problem. If that breaker is hot, then there's probably gonna be a problem unless it's outside in the sun. If it's inside your house and it's hot, I would probably have somebody come take a look at it. So we're gonna take this the rest of the way off. Okay. What I wanna look at here is, so this is our wiring that's coming in from outside, okay? This has the voltage and it has the impacity, the amp draw in the system to kill you if you get hung up on these, these bars. That's why I don't want anybody in here that has any experience to do it. This bar right here is hot. The bar on the other side is hot. Any of them bars can kill you. So do not open up your panel. Let somebody else do it. What happens when somebody tells you that they're gonna come do an electrical inspection on your house? What they're gonna do is, they may go and check every outlet to make sure it works. I'm gonna tell you in my last experience or the, the time I've followed behind people that have done that, they have not done that. They come to the panel, they will look at the panel. Sometimes they open the panel. Most of the time they feel the breakers. They make up some other stuff to do so that they look like they're busy for 15, 20 minutes. And then they charge you for their fee. Here's what you need to worry about on your electrical panel. If you have a new house, you don't have to worry about anything for 10 years. You know, pretty much everything will work as it is. You may have a receptacle that fails every now and then. You're gonna find that receptacle failed, not the person doing your home inspection. They're not gonna find it. But what happens is these screws right here on this lug, these screws, when a, let's say somebody put it in and it wasn't tight enough. If, it, if it's not tight enough, then because it's loose, it pulls a higher amp draw. As it pulls a higher amp draw, it will melt the wire, melt the wire on up. And that's how house fires start. And it usually starts with something like an air conditioner that's pulling 60 amps, 50 amps on the inside unit, and because the wires weren't tightened properly when it was installed, or the wires have gotten loose over the years, or maybe you have aluminum wire in your home. If you have a house with aluminum wire, then no, your, your lug should be checked about once every five years, I'd have somebody come check them. Because aluminum wire expands, contracts, it's against the copper on the breaker, there's electrolysis that happens, it just needs to be done. Did they, use, did they use some kind of no locks on it? Did they put something on it to protect it from corroding? Because aluminum and copper that go together corrodes. If you don't put some, some grease on it, some stuff that, that they call no locks that keeps it from messing up or never sees or something like that. What they would do is they would tighten up what's in the panel, check it for tight, and that's what they should be doing. So if you're paying somebody every single year to come do that, you're just throwing your money away.